there. Welcome to our coverage of the Garden Festival at Epcot. It's not quite the first day. We decided to come the second day today to have a little bit more of a chill experience. So let's get in there. We're going to try some food, check out the topiaries, see what else we can get into, see what the butterfly house looks like, all sorts of fun stuff at the Garden Festival at Epcot. So here we go. It's always fun walking through the Flower and Garden Festival because you get all the, the colors here as you can see on the, the right of me and passing these structures in front of creations and they look really cool and colorful. Even when it's cloudy they're still bright. There goes another one. And we got one more coming up. Actually two more coming up. There goes another one. This is a new area of course in Epcot. You can kind of come out and chill right by creation. So here's a new topiary for the Garden Festival this year, the group one. The lighting's a little weird right now, hopefully you can make that out, but it looks pretty awesome over by Guardians of the Galaxy, Cosmic Rewind. Here we are up close to the new group topiary. I heard he plays music, so hopefully we'll catch that in a little bit. One of the cool things about the Garden Festival is all the color that they bring in Epcot, much like my Roosevelt shirt that Groot's uh, hitching a ride on. You can see behind us over there all the flowers they add. And uh, we always like to remind people to get one of these books though, so you can kind of decide on what you want to eat inside the book. Um, just like all the other festivals, gives you a little description of what's in each um, food booth that they have around World Showcase, or in a couple of the ones that are in the old future world. And um, looks like they also have one of those food scavenger hunts right here on this page. And this year they're calling it the Garden Graze Menu Item. And it looks like there's about eight different items you can buy. So. We'll buy some of those on each of our trips here. We won't do them all in one day, and we'll show you what we get when we finish that in a future video. So we're approaching the citrus blossom area, and we're gonna try the tempura shrimp and the lemon merengue pie. Of course, this is in the Odyssey building. All right, over here, this is where Figment lived during the art festival. Now it's the orange bird's nest. So let's go in and check it out. So here we are, the citrus blossom, where we're trying the orange sesame tempura shrimp, which has chili sauce and the lemon merengue pie, which is just lemon curd, lemon mousse, and toasted merengue. They both smell great. Can't wait to dig into them. Unlike the art festival, which features pigment, the orange bird takes center stage at the garden festival. Doesn't get enough love in our opinion. Uh, maybe we want to throw a Groot on his shoulder though. That would look kind of cool. I don't know what you all think about that. And we're just checking out one of the cool little garden displays presented by Sensi that they do here. If you walk over into this area, you'll smell a lot of stuff, depending on what they what they plant, which is what's cool about the Garden Festival. So we've got hibiscus sunsets over here in the background. Got some butterfly topiaries. So we always like checking this out. Of course, here's some more topiaries with the Fab Five. Chip and Dale was there in the front. I don't know if I caught them, but hopefully I did. You got Mickey and Minnie here. And of course, you got Spaceship Earth back in the distance. So colorful. It's always awesome to check it all out, especially when the sun's up and it's not too hot today. And we're approaching the Figment Topiary, which they uh, moved to here in the new uh, little courtyard area in Epcot. And he looks so cool in that home here at the Flower and Garden Festival. There goes Figment, a little spaceship earth in the background. They're just walking around the center part of the new Epcot area. They got the Figment Topiary off to the distance behind me there. A lot of color in this area, which is cool. You can see Figment there in the back. And there's the front. Super colorful here, the Flower and Garden Festival. So being a huge 90s kid, uh, I really like DuckTales. So whenever I see Huey, Dewey, and Louie anywhere in the park, I always got to celebrate it. I don't know, maybe we could sneak a Darkwing Duck in here one of these years. But uh, hey, we got Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Uncle Donald's actually across the way. You can't really see him from here, but uh, yeah, little Disney afternoon uh, montage, at least for me. We gotta get Launchpad here, maybe. Yeah, let's see what they do. But yeah, I got Huey, Dewey, and Louie. One more pass, because I love him so much. And as you can see behind me, the wonderful world of color here at Epcot, always during the spring. I don't know how much of that you can get back there, but it's a beautiful day today, so the sun's hitting all the flowers here just right. One of the cool parts about the Flower and Garden Festival is all the flowers that they plant. Uh, as you can see behind me, behind the monorail, got a lot of color over there. If you look across the pond over here, you can see all the stuff that they add to the little lagoons that are floating with all the different colors. 
right now we're on the bridge that's next to the Odyssey. So. Tip, there's not too many people on this bridge. Usually it's a nice place to relax and take in some of the ambiance of Epcot. So we're over here at Florida Fresh where they have lobster tails. So you can come to Epcot and get lobster tails during the Garden Festival. We're gonna try it out and see what it tastes like. We got the warm lobster tail with key lime butter. It smells phenomenal. It's not bad, it's only $11 at Epcot to get a lobster tail. I say do it. And then over here we have a Cubanito sandwich which has mojo, marinated pork belly, ham cheese, Swiss pickles, and stone ground mustard. Can't wait to dig into both of these. And we're over here at the Mexico booth and we're gonna try a couple of the items. So I'm gonna walk in and show you the, the booth here, or the menu, I should say. So let's check it out. So definitely on our list to try is the tamale and the flandiguava. Not gonna even try to pronounce that correctly. And we may even get one of the margarita, the lychee one sounds super good. All right, so we decided to stop off at Mexico and try a couple of the dishes and the drinks. We'll take you for a tour around it on our lovely garbage can table. All right, starting with the lychee margarita, this thing caught my attention on some of the other blogs that we watched. This is actually the third day of the Flower and Garden Festival. As we mentioned earlier, got to do a couple swipes to do this. So this is the lychee margarita. Send Centeno, Blanca tequila, lychee liqueur, citrus juice, and aguave nectar. Crossing the table here, we got the floral margarita. Look at that cool glass there. Cherry liquor, mezcal, hibiscus tea, and lime juice with sweet chili salt rim. Um, looks like they may have forgotten the sweet chili salt rim, but uh, we'll let you know after we try it. Over here, we have a tamale de rajas, poblano peppers, corn, and cheese, and masa topped with poblano cream, sauce crema, mexicana, pickled carrots, onions, and chives. And last but not least, we have the sope de chorio, guajillo pepper based braised pork on fried corn shells with black beans, shredded cabbage, crema mexicana, queso fresco, and chives. That is all a mouthful, and it's going to be delicious. Alright, we're going to take you on a quick little walk of the Seven Dwarfs Topiaries. Check them out. I'm not going to call them all out because I cannot see them all. Although I do think Happy, I think I see Happy in the front of this. Or is that Doc because he's got the glasses? I'm not sure. But yeah, you can see them all right here. Of course, Snow White and Dopey have their own special across the way here. Very crowded today, as always, at the Flower and Garden Festival. I'll just do a quick distance shot of Snow White and Dopey. There they are, always together, leaving the other dwarfs behind, but yeah, these ones are always so cool. And we got the alligator TikTok behind us from Peter Pan. Uh, when you come to Florida, nothing quite speaks uh, Florida like alligator, right? So there he is. We got some topiaries of rabbit and of course the famous Winnie the Pooh. This time of the season he doesn't have as much hair as he will. A little later in the season he'll have a lot of hair on him. It looks kind of funny. So we suggest checking him out multiple times if you come here over the next couple months. So we decided to get the seared scallops from Canada, which is French green beans, marble potatoes, and bacon vinaigrette. Also over here we got the beef tenderloin tips with mushroom bordelaise sauce, whipped potatoes, and garden vegetables. And of course, the chocolate maple whiskey cake. Look at it, it looks great. I can't wait to get this one and taste it. We will give you a review later. Stare at that cake just a little more. We're actually gonna do a, a special video where we show you all of the topiaries, but we had to stop by here and show you Miss Piggy and, and Kermit, like, cause they're awesome. And um, they move them around though, I think last year, actually I think they were in this corner last year. So yeah, if you're at the Garden Festival, come check them out. This is one of our favorites. This one probably Big Mint and, and uh, Groot, who we uh, of course took a video with earlier. So yeah, be on the lookout for our special where we show you all the topiaries. Also part of the Flower and Garden Festival, of course, is the Garden Rock Series, the live music, just like they had for the art and all the other festivals. Tonight is the vibe. I'll give you a little peek of the vibe. Here they are, way in the distance. Got some bubbles too to add to the magic. So yeah, every uh, two or three days they uh, 
change up the music, so this is the vibe. And that concludes our coverage of the Flower and Garden Festival. We uh, saw some of the topiaries, we tried some food. Um, we'll definitely be back to do just a topiary video like we mentioned earlier. We gotta check out the butterfly house. Um, it looks a little better later in the season, so we'll go in there for sure. Hit some of the food spots we haven't checked out. So hopefully you enjoyed our first video for this. So subscribe to our channel so you can see the next version of our Flower and Garden Festival. So thank you for coming along with us in our Disney kind of life. See you next time.